As Chief of Police, I'm proud to bring you Cold Case Awareness Month in conjunction with our partners, Families of the Stolen and the Douglas County Attorney's Office. Anytime somebody is killed in our community, it represents the greatest affront to our society, not to mention the amount of trauma and pain associated with the friends and family because they've lost a loved one. Um, when we got that call, I was the first one to get the call. Uh, didn't quite understand what was being told to me. I called my husband and told him something was wrong. And by that time, we were getting calls that, um, that he had been killed. Um, my husband is still um, grieving. Carl is his son that he raised on his own. Um, is still has affected our youngest two. Um, the impact that it's had is he left behind three amazing young men. They don't have a father. They don't have a role model. You know, just like any other young man, he's made some missteps, but he didn't have the chance to write those things. So if Carl was here today, we would just want to tell him that your dad loves you and misses you so, so much. That's the impact. It's a lot of people that love him and still mourn him and grieve. Um, but we just hope that he's in heaven. Honestly, I first thing I would say is, I love you. Just to be able to get that last, I love you. When the call came, everything in me just stopped. I couldn't breathe. In fact, I didn't want to believe it. I called her phone, telling her, please answer this phone. When I got there and I seen all the yellow tape, last thing I saw was the sky because I, I blacked out. Well, the absence has definitely been felt um, by all of us, everyone that loved her because she was such a gentle soul. She was a kindred spirit who could love the worst of them. It caused two boys to be raised without their mother, two boys that found their mother. They had to grow up separated without each other. So you've got two lives and two paths that were torn apart that didn't deserve any of it. She lived her life for her boys. The mural is a dedication to her. Every year I try to do something to honor her in our community because I don't ever want her to be forgotten, ever. It has five women's faces painted on it. Beside them, there's two scrolls that have the names painted of 48 women that have been murdered in our community. They're, the whole mural is just beautiful. And we've designed the area as a place to be able to sit and reflect, sit and celebrate, or just sit and breathe. I got out, I had a chance to spend time with my brother for 45 minutes. I had to go to work. He called a couple of times, like, you know, within a couple of days, but that 45 minutes was all I got before that heartache and pain. My brother was like my motivation, my everything. Like he corrected me when I was wrong. You know, I mean, like he just made me feel like, I mean, he let me know that when I was progressing and when I need, where I need to progress at. Like, I mean, that's just something that I miss the most because I don't really get it as much, you know? Attitude is the big difference, you know what I'm saying? And somebody gotta be strong. Like, I mean, he was just a friend and everybody, like he was just like a sweetest person. He would do anything for anybody, whether he knew them or he did not know them. He go above and beyond to make sure that they was all right. And I so I endured about him. He like the legacy that he left is just like forever will live on. A lot of people grieve differently, but my mom is hurt. I'm hurt. And like I tell my mom, I'm here forever until God call me home we're gonna read together and we're gonna get through it together because we champions right yep. we champions my mom need closure we need closure and I mean like first mind was angry negative this mind God gonna take care of it And 
my part and always look across, always look at my surroundings, you know, when I get out of the car. And I looked across the street and there was a, there was a light and there was always that light was always on that street light, street light was off. And I seen something over there on there, but I, you know, I just thought that somebody was just sitting over there, you know, cause I mean, they're always outside and not knowing that that was him until I was woke up maybe an hour later when my other son came home and and he told me that it was him across the street. You know, he's missed. He's gonna always be missed. And and even when they do close it, find out who did it, why? Maybe we'll be a little bit more at peace. Maybe. Maybe. So if there's anybody that knows anything, help him. Help us out. Help me out. And he left the son at the age of 12 years old. He left. He, he just left a whole lot of people. You know, if you tell me you love him or you love me, do that for me. Help me out. When I found out, I got the call from a cousin. And she called me and told me that man had been found in his truck. And it just broke me down. Like, and I thought she was saying something else. I kept saying, what are you telling me, Vanessa? Don't tell me my son is gone. Don't tell me that, because I'm at work, I'm going crazy. You know, I'm driving and I'm crying, and I'm like, no, this can't be. And you know, and I'm, I'm thinking of people to call. I'm a parent, and like most parents, you, you always expect your kids to bury you. you. You never expect to be burying one of your kids. You, you never expect that, you know. For me, it's left a big boy because he was like a father figure to my kids. He was their only uncle on my side. And, oh my God, he was their pride and joy. And him being gone has left a big boy to his kids' lives. And that breaks my heart that, you know, he didn't get to see none of his kids graduate. And I'm the oldest. And I would just tell him how much I love him. And you just talk about all the fun times. I don't know. I don't know. It's critical to have the cooperation and collaboration that we have with the Omaha Police Department, County Attorney's Office, and Crime Stoppers. You know, it, it's a, it, they play a vital role in solving crime, particularly cases maybe that have been around for a while. Uh, and it's so important to keep working those cases, those cold cases as we do, as the Omaha Police Department does, uh, to give some closure to the victim's family. The Omaha Police Department doesn't rest, the community doesn't rest, and we don't rest until we find that perpetrator and hold them accountable for the horrific crime that they've committed. We, we want the families to know that they're not forgotten, the victims of these crimes are not forgotten, and that the people that committed these crimes against their, their loved ones are, are held accountable. Uh, the importance of Continuing to work cold cases is to maintain uh, public safety and uh, public trust, um, to know that with public trust, we can get further cooperation with the public in, in helping us solve these crimes. For me, it's showing the community that we have to work with our law enforcement to get things done. It is bringing the community to law enforcement as a whole, because we all want the same thing. We all want justice. We all want the, the violence to stop. We all want all parties held accountable that are involved with stealing our loved ones. We can't do that. That's for law enforcement to do. What we can do is bring them to you. Any of the families ever want a um, direct meeting or they ever have questions, then I can be that bridge to help them get the answers they need. For me, just to see the relief on the families' faces, just to see 
the appreciation and the love, the outpouring of love and support that I get from all the families, that's what keeps me going. Crime Stoppers plays an important part for the community to be able to uh, provide information that they don't want to come forward with publicly. So when it comes to cold cases, maybe often somebody knows something, but they're concerned or afraid or not certain that they actually want to talk to somebody directly. They don't want to necessarily go to the police with what they have. And so Crime Stoppers provides the ability for them to give that information anonymously without giving their name, without giving their phone number. Uh, so that information then can come in to be uh, utilized by the police department, but without knowing who it was that gave the information. You know, our commitment to the community is that we're um, you know, very efficient in, in the funds that we use all go, to, go towards uh, the tips, the rewards, um, and making sure we, uh, we maintain a strong integrity of the program. As chief, I want to thank our community. I want to thank our community partners. I want to thank Crime Stoppers for being the bridge while working with the community and interfacing with our detectives. And last but not least, I want to thank our detectives for continually working on these cases to bring resolve to the families. Thank you very much.